Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to find the least common multiple. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The least common multiple definition states that the least common multiple is the smallest multiple that both numbers have in common. We're going to do a quick example of finding the least common multiple between the numbers 4 and 6. Now I can take both 4 and 6 and I can list out the multiples of each number. So we're going to start with 4. So 4 is a multiple, 8 is a multiple, 12, so 4 times 4 is 16, 20, and then 24 we'll go to. And then I can do the same thing for 6, so we start with 6. And then we go to 12, then we go to 18, but I don't have to go any further because I can look and I can see that the number 12 is a multiple of 4 and 6, and it is the smallest multiple that they have in common. So I know that the least common multiple between 4 and 6 would be 12. You can do the same thing for larger numbers by using factor trees, and that's what I'm going to do for finding the least common multiple between 50 and 20. So I'm going to first take 50 and I'm going to break it down by prime factorization. Prime factorization is sometimes shown as a factor tree, which is what I'm going to do here. What we're going to do is we're going to take each number and break it down into prime factors. So the number 50 I know is even, so I'm going to divide by 2. 2 times 25 gives us 50. Now I know 2 is a prime number, so I don't have to break it down any further. But 25 can be broken down into 5 times 5. So the 5's are also prime numbers, which means they cannot be broken down any further. So 50 is done because all that we have are prime numbers. We're going to do the same thing for number 20. So 20 is an even number, so I'm going to start with 2. So 2 times 10 is 20. 10 is also an even number, so I'm going to use 2 again. And 2 times 5 is 10. So 2 and 5 are also prime numbers, so I know that 20 has been broken down completely into prime numbers. So I'm going to highlight all of my factors for 50 and all of my factors for 20. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both numbers and I'm going to list them out in their prime factorization. So 50 is 2 times 5 times 5 and 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. Now when you are looking for your least common multiple, you're going to use each factor and you're going to use the largest amount of each factor. When you're finding the least common multiple, you have to use each prime number and you have to use the largest amount of each prime number. So for example, if you look, we have both the number 2 and the number 5 as our prime numbers that we have from our factoring. We have to use 2 when we multiply them all together to get the least common multiple, and we also have to use 5. Now we're going to use two twos because 20 has two twos in it, which is the largest amount of twos. And then we're going to use 5 times 5 because 50 has two fives in it. Now 50 also has a single 2 and 20 has a single 5. But we don't use these because we've already used our prime factor of 2 and our prime factor of 5. And we took two 2's from 20 and two 5's from 50. Now to get our answer, we just multiply 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 5 is 100. So our least common multiple between 50 and 20 is going to be 100. Let's do a couple practice problems from our least common multiple worksheet. Number 1 gives us the numbers 12 and 40 and asks us to find the least common multiple between the two. So I'm going to start by factoring the number 12 and the number 40. So when I factor 12, 12 is an even number, so I'm going to start with 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Then 6 is also an even number, so I'm going to use 2 again. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So now 12 has been factored into prime numbers, so 2, 2, and 3 are all prime. I'm going to do the same thing for 40, so I'm going to start with a 2 because 40 is even, so 2 times 20. 20 is even again, so I'm going to use 2, so 2 times 10. 10 is even, so I'm going to use 2, and then 2 times 5 is 10. 
So now we have 40 broken down into prime factors. So these are all prime numbers. And 12 is also broken down into prime numbers. I'm going to list both of them out. So 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. And 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So to get the least common multiple, so I'm going to use each prime factor once, and I'm going to use the largest amount of each prime factor. So if you look, 12 has two twos, but 40 has three twos. So I'm going to use these three twos for a least common multiple, so I'm going to include two times two times two. But I also have to use this three, because I have to use each factor, so I'm going to use a three. And I have to use this five, so I'm also going to include the five. So to get the least common multiple, I'm going to multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And when I do that, I get 120 as the solution to our least common multiple between 12 and 40. The next problem on our least common multiple worksheet is number 3, and that gives us 25 and 80. So for this least common multiple example, we're going to do the same thing, which is we're going to take each number and we're going to break each number down into prime factors. So I'm going to take 25 and break it down into 5 times 5. So those are our two prime factors. And I know that I'm done because these are both prime numbers. So 25 is kind of easy. 80 we're going to break down. We're going to start with 2. So 2 times 40. Then we're going to do 2 times 20 to get 40, and then we have to do 20 again, so this is 2 times 10. And then 10 is broken down into 2 times 5. So I'm going to take each number, and I'm going to list the prime factors from each number out. So we have 25, and we're going to say 25 is 5 times 5. And then I'm going to take 80. And for 80, I'm going to say 80 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. To get the least common multiple, that means I have to take each prime factor and the largest amount of each prime factor and multiply them together. In this example, we only have 2 and 5, so I'm going to use all the 2's from 80. So this is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And I'm going to use two fives from 25. So this is going to be times 5 times 5. Now I do not use this 5 because we already used the two 5's from 25. So that just sits there. We don't have to use it. Then to get our least common multiple, I'm going to multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. And we will get 400 as the least common multiple between 25 and 80. Hopefully this video is helpful for teaching you how to find the least common multiple. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.